Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. In this video we will learn how to use the rib tool in Fusion 360. As in our previous videos we had learned how to use extrude tool, revolve tool, sweep tool and loft tool. And here is the rib tool. Rib tool is mainly used to create ribs for the hollow parts to hold the body strong. And also it's showing the pop-up message that how to use this tool and uses as well. Without wasting time, let's jump into the tutorial. Here I am using the previous sketch which we were used in previous videos. So now I want a hollow body, for that I am using the extrude tool. In extrude tool, I am using the thin extrude. Select the sketch and drag the arrow outwards to extrude, I am selecting the symmetric direction and gives, up to 50mm and finish it by pressing OK button. Now let's work with rib tool. But before using the rib tool, we need to draw the sketch profile. Select the sketch tool. It's showing the planes to select. For that select the previous sketch as plane and draw the sketch as you like. Here I'm just drawing the two perpendicular lines. And finish the sketch. Now select the rib tool. Here in the pop-up, it's asking sketch profile. Select the sketch. Profile. Select the sketch. Now drag the arrow. Here you can see the rib is form. Where it extends to the adjacent face of the part. Here in the pop-up we have other setting as well. We have two options here. That is, symmetric and distance. If I select distance, the new arrow is showing up, where it forming like a thin extrude. You can drag this arrow to change the thickness of the rib. Here we have draft and fillet tool as well. But, we cannot use it in solid section. Because, it is showing in the pop-up message that we can only use in plastic section. That's all about the rib tool. If you understood the content, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. And, thanks for watching.